Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The former or the dethroned emir, okay, former emir of Kanu states, whom Ganduji disposed, okay, is making himself useful. So Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu sent him to Niger Republic after he was disgraced. It's in a by show chest, say, say, we say, I'm Nigerian's president and I've been made the chairman of ECOWAS. In fact, what did the Niger want to do so they won't break the wings of ECOWAS? Tell the SAC, all those on unholy association, what are they do? They go negotiate with other nations of the world against Africa. We're not going to let her be, you know. So he's making himself very useful. Tinubu Sena go, Niger go say, Go, we say, we say, go talk with these people since they will not listen to me. You know, go and discuss with them. So he really went. And when he came back, this is what he said he met there. And at that sense, on I could he caused different controversies with people saying, ah, ah, what's going on? What can be done differently? Yes? <clears throat> Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The 14th Emir of Kano. Sanusi Nabido has met with Bola Ahmed Tinubu following his return from Niger Republic, where he had talks with the country military, military janta. Tinubu has sent him to go for negotiations after ECOWAS ultimatum failed and the threat was bluffed. The former Central Bank Governor of Nigeria, CBN, arrived at the presidential villa at about 8.25 p.m. immediately after Tinubu met a high delegation of Nigeria Islamic Oman over Niger impulses. The former Emir flew into Nigeria after his engagement with General Abrisaman military government that had bossed Niger democratically elected Mohamed Bozomo on July 26th through a coup. Sanusi had made the trip to the neighboring country to open a window of negotiation with the coup leader after failed attempt by the economic community of West Africa states, ECOWAS and other global stockholders. Thoughts have continued to rise what really went on. Through the former Emir, the Tinubu was able to understand some of the things going on. Though the former Emir told the State House correspondent that he went to Niger in personal capacity, he revealed that he briefed the president before embarking on the trip. An Elkoa's delegation has failed to get an audience with the coup plotters, who risk every pressure to budge on regional body demand. But Sanusi, who is the cafe of the Terju Saint in Nigeria Islamic group, with a large following in Niger Republic, appeared in a video on Wednesday to speaking with these people. This has continued to generate a lot of reaction. When he came back, return, he has come to brief the president on his movements and all that happened. The truth of the matter is, whether you like it or not, there are all kinds of matters going on. And then um, if we pay attention, we will understand that this is the real situation of what is on ground. Yes, Nigeria is in that state where we need this country to move. Okay, we need this country to move. We need honest, sincere, dedicated people who will do everything, humanly speaking, possible within their premise and the premise of the law to serve the people with integrity. There are people who are telling us they want to lead. But when you check their character, they have no character. They have nothing and their belt called truth, honesty, and sincerity. So if people are saying that you are working for, you know, you are, you are working against the nation, it's something that, for, I mean, if you look at the whole, the whole premise, you should understand that there is something that you are doing, okay? There is something that you are definitely engaged in, engaging yourself in that may not be going down well with a lot of you know, people in the nation. And we need to ensure that those things are corrected. In that way, we can begin to move forward. Tinubu is just a young president, less than three months, how many months? And uh, these things are happening. He needs to begin to look into things more critically and ensure that 
at the end of the day, okay, he's not being carried away. He does not allow the whole euphoria of, uh, oh, I'm the president, get him carried away. He must become very careful because at the end of the day, uh, the people, if, if the people made you president, the people can take you away. So you must be careful. You must be careful. Okay? Uh, you must become very careful. Every single person knows that there is something wrong. But what are we doing? Okay? What are we doing? So everybody should understand this. That it is, it is not enough to say uh, this is happening, that is happening. It's not enough. But we must go beyond that and we must begin to ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible to bring this nation out of the present predicament so that together the nation can move forward and we can truly advance and, you know, make Nigeria a better place. Every one of us must do everything we can. Okay? So he came back and he told Tinobu how things have gone. Came back and told Tinobu that, you know, uh, you know, this is going on. Okay? You know, uh, this is happening and everybody, you know, understands that, you know, Tinobu and their, and their bluff they called has been called, you know, has been dimmed. Nobody cares. The people you are trying to threaten, they are not threatened at all. In fact, they were waiting for you with your with your military action. You want to allow the, the people to use you, okay? You want to allow people to use you. And then, at the end of the day, by the time the U.S. and the uh, France are done with you, you're on your own. <laughs> My people, uh, it, is, it is unbelievable. Uh... You'll be surprised, okay? You'll be surprised things that are going on, okay? And uh, these are some of the things that we should all do to ensure that, you know, nothing is keeping us down and we are waking up to ensure that uh, we put things right in perspective. Please, Nigerians, don't forget you have a voice. So let's speak out and end everything and anything, okay, that will not move us forward as a nation. If there's any time in the history of the world where people need real leaders, that time is now. So Tinubu will sort out himself. Last last he'll be all right, Abi. Last last he'll be fine. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.